I love my iPhone. It's fast, smart, and feels great to use. Well, most of the time, there are moments when it makes you want to throw it out of the window. Thankfully, there are easy fixes you can use to solve these annoying issues. In this guide, I will discuss five annoying iPhone problems and how to fix them. Tell me if this has ever happened to you. You are listening to an audiobook through your AirPods, walk into your car, and boom, the story jumps to your car speakers. I despise this problem. Thankfully, iOS 26 has introduced a fix for this by introducing a Keep Audio in Headphones option. To enable this feature, go to Settings, General, AirPlay and Continuity. Now, turn on the toggle for Keep Audio with headphones. Your audio will no longer switch to your car or any other Bluetooth speaker automatically. With iOS 26, you get a new full screen screenshot feature that automatically opens a screenshot in full screen view instead of the preview window that used to appear at the bottom of the screen. It's a good feature if you take one off screenshots as you can easily copy and share screenshots without cluttering your gallery. However, if you take dozens of screenshots at once or prefer not to use the full screen preview until necessary, you can disable this feature. To do that, launch the settings app and open the general settings. Tap on screen capture and turn off the toggle for full screen previews. Now your screenshot will appear as in iOS 18. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, why not subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our future videos. Now that you are subscribed, let's move on to next point. I love the new liquid glass redesign, but I understand how it could annoy some people because of its legibility issues. iOS 26.1 solves this issue by introducing a new tinted option that greatly reduces the transparency. To activate this, go to Settings, Display and Brightness and tap on Liquid Glass. Now tap to choose the tinted option to reduce the transparent effect. Your iPhone will even give preview of how this will look. Here's how liquid glass looks in clear and tinted mode. The tinted mode is quite opaque and improves the readability. iOS has a built-in shake to undo feature that lets you undo an action by shaking your iPhone. The feature has always seemed silly to me, especially now when you have better options like the undo button at the top or the three finger left and right swipe gestures to undo and redo. I find the shake to undo especially annoying when it activates accidentally. If you also find this feature unuseful, you can turn it off. Just go to settings, accessibility and touch. Here you will see the option to shake to undo. Just turn off the toggle to prevent it from activating. The new Safari compact tab view isn't for everyone. It hides most of the main controls behind a three dot menu, which can be frustrating. Fortunately, you can restore the classic Safari tab view. To do that, go to settings, apps, and tap to open Safari settings. Now scroll down to the tab section and select the bottom option. It will bring back the old Safari tab view with a tools row below the address bar. You can even select the top view to move the address bar to the top as it used to exist before our phones became too big to use with one hand. And that about does it for this video. Before you go, click here to learn how to fix iOS 26 depth effect wallpaper not working issue. Also, if this video saved your sanity even a little bit, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more such content. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.